Hi, welcome to our channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to control the position of a permanent magnet synchronous motor or an AC brush motor using Solo and Raspberry Pi. As you see, the wiring I'm using here is, first of all, a UART line wiring coming from the Raspberry Pi to Solo for sending the commands from the Raspberry Pi through a Python code. And here I have the motor connected to Solo through these wires, these three wires. I have the encoder connected to Solo and the power supply of 50 volts on the other side. You need to remember that for this setup, the assumption is the connection of the motor wires and the encoder is done properly and the encoder is calibrated already. So if you don't do that, it's not going to work. You have to go and read about how to calibrate and how to tune your motor firstly for the wiring of the encoder and the motor to solo. And then you can come back and run this example. So here we're not going to do that. We're just going to go deeply into the code and see how actually the position control is done with Raspberry Pi on solo. To start with that, I'm going to go into the Raspberry Pi operating system and we're going to see how I can actually run the Python code for position controlling. Here you can see I have the example codes and the source code. So as you see, I'm putting my code in the same folder of the source code, especially this one and this one. So if I open this code, which is here, the position controller, this will be my code in Python written. And you can see that Initially, we are starting by assigning a proper address to the solo unit that we are using, which is in this case, the address is zero. We are assigning the baud rate, some settings regarding the switching frequency on the motor. This motor has a very low inductance, so I'm putting 70 kilohertz on the output of solo for the switching frequency. It has eight poles. It has a 1000 physical encoder lines engraved on the motor. So one solo counts that it counts in quadrature mode. So for each turn, it's going to count four times more than this value. It's going to count 4,000 pulses. But here we have to put the number of physical lines. Then we select the motor type. We put our parameters for tuning the speed and the position controller, because as you know, we have three controllers acting. We have the torque controller, we have the speed controller and the position controller. The torque controller is immediately tuned after motor identification, which we are going to do underneath. But the speed and the position controller, you need to put proper gains for them. And these gains, I found them in motion terminal after trying and testing. So these are the best gains I've found for my speed controller and the position controller. Then the current limit and then you have two important parameters that you can set during the position control. The first parameter is the speed limit, which defines for you the speed that you want to traverse during the trajectory. This speed limit can be changed dynamically during the process, but here I'm putting the initial value as 3000 RPM, and then the desired position reference, the desired position that I'm going to reach in terms of quadrature pulses. Then if you go down in the code, you see two sections, the loop, the forever loop, and a single loop that runs only one time for initializations, which is called setup. So in the setup loop, I just instantiate an object for my solo. And then I try to communicate with solo through reading a bus voltage. And once a combination is established, I set all the parameters that I talked already in top. And you see that here, for example, at the end of this part, I'm setting the controller gains for speed and position. So I'm sure that all the three controllers, the torque, the speed and position controllers are having their gains. Then the code will go to the loop and it will run. Here in the loop, you see that I'm going to go after two positions. I'm going to go to positive 500,000 quadrature pulses with speed of 5,000 RPM. And then I'm going to go back in different direction because the sign is negative to minus 32,559 pulses, quadrature pulses with 1,500 RPM. A different speed, a different goal, and let's see what happens. So the only thing I need to do, I need to run this code. The motor is identified. And then the first position is tracked, staying in the position very accurately. And then we go after the second position. And we stayed there. So you see that the code works like this. We have 
the first position which is positive 500,000 and then we start from almost zero number of pulses we go after that and reaching to the goal staying to the goal with the accuracy of almost one pulse quad quadrature pulse and then it going back to the other goal that we set here which is minus 32,559 and it's going back after that and you see that here in this section which is the end of this loop we achieve to this value so this loop will run over and over and it goes back and forth but this can show you the quality of position controlling and how it's done in Raspberry Pi using Solo so if you have any questions or any new articles that you want to know about please comment down below and we will provide them all to you please also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you for your time see you later